No, it's not quite over yet. This is still, or we're still alive here. We're just barely moving. In the mighty power of souls, they assault any threat that tries to destroy them. What, what do you mean? It's trance. You know how it works. But a normal trance won't be enough to defeat you. You're all as resilient as Oglops. Even tiny Moogles possess the power of trance. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun to watch. Trance Moogle. It was easy. I just needed to borrow the power from wretched souls that can't die. That's great. So, he has been sucking up souls from Maiden Saray long, long time ago when Dagger was a kid, the life of tree, Alexandria, and Alexandria. Well, that's awfully nice of him. The Invincible drew in a powerful spirit. Do you know who it came from? It was your mother's soul. A wretched soul that clung to life to the bitter end. That is true. I mean, she was very resilient. You can't deny that. They fed up with being your prisoner's garland. So, Master Garland, you were long, no longer needed. And after you've worked so hard, I shall rule Terra and Gaia with my own or with my unconditional love from now on. See, he's really a nice guy. He just wants love. You of all people should accept defeat gracefully. Goodbye. Oh, he just kicked him. How sad. Any last words? Your power is meaningless. Dot, dot, dot. Goodbye. And Garland falls to his death. Or does he? Now it's your turn. Should I kill you quickly to show my appreciation for all you've done? Eh, no. Or should I kill you slowly and painfully to show you my love? I, I, I want to be slow and painful, please. See, they in Final Fantasy VII they kill they kill off Eris or Aerith or however you pronounce her name too quickly. I, I personally, I, I like slow deaths. You can never build an eternal kingdom. Boom, boom, boom. That voice, Garland. See, right here, when I first played it, I was like, oh, he must be about to come up and pop up as a huge monster, and then we're going to fight that monster, and it's going to be game over. But, no. It's just like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars. He still has his last little say, even though he's dead. There's a limit on your life. You'll be dead soon, even as I die. You've... You'll have died without ever leaving your mark on the world. <coughs> Jeez. What an interesting lie. You're telling me that my life will end soon? Nice try, Garland. But I won't fall for your silly tricks. Garland. Garland. Oh, Garland, where are you? You were created to destroy. You are a mortal. Mortal combat. I'm finished. I don't believe you. Why would I believe such a silly story? You're telling me that I'll die soon? Now that I'm more powerful than anyone? I'm gonna die? Well, yeah. Everyone's gonna die. See, this is like Sephiroth when he found out that he was... I don't know. What what did he find out? Any Final Fantasy VII fanboys tell me... See how... I don't know what he finds out, but it, it's kind of like Kuja's finding out he's mortal, and he's laughing about it, and Sephiroth finds out he's like a monster or something, and he laughs about that. I won't, I won't let this world exist without me. So what does he do? He flies. No, what actually happens is a very epic scene.
pom pom pom. So yeah, it's time to get the hell out of here. Kuja, I can't believe him. Zidane, we gotta get out of here before the tower collapses. But how? We need to carry the injured out, too. It's still Kuja's ship, the Invincible. It's at the bottom of the tower. Oh yeah, but... Alright, you guys head for the ship. I'm gonna rescue the, geno the genomes. They're victims. I can't just abandon them. I'm sure you can. We're not gonna have to have random battles here, are we? Dagger and I will head back to Brand Ball. You guys come get us on the Invincible. Okay, there's only two of us. There's no way it's going to make us fight random battles. I just highly doubt it will. Ooh, convenient bridge. Thank you very much. I guess we're just going to walk our way back. I don't really have anything to say. Well, actually, yeah. Kuja versus Goku. I think that'd be an epic fight. They both are capable of destroying planets. They're just eyes. What the hell? How very bold of you. Yeah, they're just eyes. They're just looking at me. Well, they are looking at me. That's creepy. Kind of cool. Uh, um, Dagger? Yes? About what happened earlier... I'm just playing. What is it, Zidane? Oh, jeez. I feel like I'm being what? Well, <laughs> you came to my rescue, right? And, uh, it really made me happy. Zidane. How can I say this? Um, I the... Oh, we got cut off. Thanks. Oh, my pussy. These are some pretty good episodes right here. I don't have to edit anything. They're coming down on this stupid elevator, and the tower's about to collapse, and Amaranth just does not give a shit at all. <laughs> oh, neither does Quino, what do you know? I know find good food on Terra. Maybe I eat eyeball over there. That eyeball's like, what the hell? Quino, hurry up or you'll be left behind. I happen to believe, no good food anywhere. Oh, she didn't eat the eyeball, or he didn't eat the eyeball. He? She? I can't remember. Did I say it was a he? I think we're still okay. Let's evacuate the genomes. Yes, let's do that. Because that sounds so fun. So much fun evacuating people. First, we gotta get there to evacuate them. I don't know why they just can't do this on their own. Let's split up. No, oh, because that makes it even more fun. Now there's no chance of having sex with you if we're split up. Wait, what? Oh, there was that chest down there I forgot to get. Oh, well. I guess it's about to be destroyed too. My gosh, the ship is enormous. Why, thank you. It's not even bigger than my... Is she late again? Nope, he just found a different way in the ship, you know. Whatever. I warp inside from bottom of ship. Why were you underneath the ship in the first place? Save it for later, we must get the ship moving. Yes, let's go. It's time to get off this planet. What are you still doing here? We need to evacuate. What's the point? They're only empty vessels. Stop talking like that. Do you really believe what you just said? Unlike the rest of them, Garland gave me a soul that I might replace you and Kuja. Oh, great. Now some stupid twat is going to take over me. But Garland is dead. Terror will soon be destroyed. What's the point? I asked myself the same question. Did you find an answer? Mm, no. <laughs> well, you've just got the answers to everything, don't you, Zidane? Well, what is your name? Garland gave you a name, didn't he? My name is Makoto. Oh, such a pretty name. Makoto, huh? That's a nice name. A lot of people are going to call you that from now on. You have to find the answers yourself. It'll be hard, but you can do it. Let's go to the new world, Makoto. There you can find your answer. Looks like we're going to a new world, guys. But did I just pause it? Am I about to put it in another cliffhanger? Oh, yes. Yes. This has been the Tigers of Here signing off of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Will we make it off Terra? Will Makoto find our answer? And, um, 
I wonder if Ico's gay. I don't know. I, I couldn't come up with a third question, so that's the first thing that came to my mind. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.